Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you've had a wonderful few days. Today we are doing a summer makeup video. Now for those of you that are like, Anna, <laughs> you are in autumn now, heading into winter. Yes, that is true, but I've also just recently gone through summer and about 80% of my audience is in the Northern Hemisphere and you guys are in spring right now and looking forward to summer. So I feel like there'll definitely be some tips and products in today's video that you will find useful. Today's video is brought to you in collaboration with Yes Style who are sponsoring today's video. So all of the products I'm using today are all cruelty free and they're all available on Yes Style. I have everything linked below for you. And if you've never actually heard of Yes Style before, they're basically like a big online Asian department store where they sell heaps of like Korean and Japanese beauty from makeup makeup to skincare, body things, hair things. And they also have fashion items and homewares as well. So it's a massive online mecca of different beauty and lifestyle goodies. And if you've watched my channel for a long time, you'll have heard me mention lots of products from them over the years, especially in the realm of Korean skincare. I do really have a fondness for it. But today we are talking about and using makeup products from YesStyle. Some are ones that I've used for a long time that I absolutely love and have shown on here before. And there are also a couple of new ones that I'm gonna introduce you guys to as well. This video is also a giveaway, which is awesome. Yes Style are going to be giving away 10 30 US dollar coupon codes to 10 of you. All you have to do to be eligible to win is leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite summer makeup products are. I'll have all the rest of the details about the giveaway in the description, so make sure you check that out. And if you're wondering how I got my hair like it is today, I used my little GHD straighteners and did a little like back and forth motion on the hair. Something I used to do all the time when I had like a lob. Um, but I haven't done it in ages, but I just wanted a very like summery, beachy, kind of like effortless hairstyle for my third day here. <laughs> and I actually love it, so it might be something I do a little bit more often. Alrighty, so the first product is going to come as no surprise. So I've talked about this solidly for about six months, if you include its predecessor. It is the Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream. This is in the shade 21 Light Beige. Probably the only thing I don't like about this product is the shade range. They only have three shades because it is a Korean beauty product. And I actually reached out to Purito about it and they have let me know that they are working on expanding it. So that is good news because everything else about this is absolutely amazing. This is basically like good skin in a bottle. It looks natural. It gives a nice kind of light to high medium coverage. It's essential oil and fragrance free. It is cruelty free. I believe it's vegan as well. It also has an SPF of 38, which I really love for a summer base product to have an SPF in it. Don't get me wrong, I always wear an SPF under my makeup as well, a proper dedicated sunscreen, which I've already got on my face, so I'm just gonna go straight in with this. But the reason I like having an SPF in my base product if possible in summer is that it just gives me that security that I've got that like little extra bit of coverage. As you can see with the shade, when I first put it on my face, it can look a little bit wrong, a little bit gray kind of looking and a little bit dark. But actually once it's blended in, it's really, really nice. For some reason, it does this magical thing where it just kind of adapts to my skin tone. And I think because the grayish kind of tone in it while looks very concentrated when it's like in a big blob on your face. When it's actually blended out, it really creates that gorgeous kind of muted, beigey, neutral sort of undertone that's quite hard to come across in base products. They often lean like super pink or super yellow. And I definitely have a cooler pink undertone, but I sometimes find foundations are just like too strongly pigmented. I like something a bit more muted. Anything that has this sort of grayish beige sort of tint to it, I quite like actually. See? I don't know, it's magic, it kind of works. <laughs> That's what one light coat looks like. And I'm just gonna build up the product, kind of like a concealer, just on the areas where I need a bit of extra coverage. I'll just use my finger to blend it in. I like to do a little bit of extra coverage down my nose. For some reason my nose likes to pull very pink. So this is my fourth tube of this BB cream. If you count the first tube, that was the snail clearing BB cream. It's pretty much the same product. They just took out the non-vegan ingredients and renamed it, rebranded it. The other thing I love about this product is that it lasts really well on my skin. I have naturally quite oily skin and this obviously gives a very dewy glow, which for an oily skin gal usually is like, <laughs> don't go there. But I feel like there's something magical about this product where it will stay in place on your skin. It won't break down weird and go all kind of chunky. It's, it stays looking freshly applied for most of the day. It's not super transfer proof. So like obviously if you like wipe your face, it's gonna come off, but it's 
but it doesn't look kind of noticeably missing and I don't know it just has very good longevity especially considering the dewiness of it but something I do like to do because I have oily skin is just put a tiny bit of targeted powdering on just to kind of take it down from like whoa you know you've just freshly applied moisturizer to like wow you have a naturally glowy skin so the product i'm going to use to do that is one i've shown in a recent favorites video i think it was my march favorites it is a collaboration between the brand eg lips and barbie <laughs> it is so cute i just fell for the packaging but thankfully the product inside is actually brilliant as well it's one of those really finely milled very translucent powders that looks very undetectable on the skin it just mattifies things slightly but then throughout the day as well your natural oils will still come through and just it looks very natural but it just helps with a little bit of that longevity especially around the areas where I like build up the product it comes in this cute little compact with a wee love heart sponge so sweet I haven't actually used this because I haven't taken it out with me as like a touch-up product but that would be very handy since you've got a mirror in there as well and then that's what the product looks like so they do come in two shades I believe this is the, the lightest one it's just like a translucent powder though so it doesn't add any coverage or anything but I just use a really small brush and just kind of tap it in and then just like tap it on my skin I never swipe my powder I just tap it on and then I do a little bit on the sides of my nose and just like maybe tone down the tip a little bit here and here if it's too shiny it really emphasizes pores so I just like to kind of take down the shine there but I really try and leave like most of my cheeks and cheekbones free of powder because you can see it just retains the beautiful luminosity of the Purito so great little tip there don't powder your whole face just put it where you need it because the Purito is like a touch on that deeper side for me I can get away with skipping bronzer I still I don't feel like I look like super stark or anything so sometimes I'll just go in with a cream blush and this little one is a cruelty free one from the brand naming this is their playful cream blush in the color jumpy which as you can see is a really beautiful kind of lilac -y color quite scary looking in the pan like a lot of people go oh that would look really like unnatural but if you've got quite fair cool toned skin like me a lilac blush can actually look really flattering it's something about the undertone of it it just kind of looks like a natural flush especially if you have very translucent skin that shows blue veins I feel like this would just well it does it looks really nice <laughs> so I apply it with a sponge as you can see it does stain your sponge over time I wash my sponge every day but it always comes out looking super stained and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this just right on my the apples of my cheeks it's actually a pretty sheer cream blush as well like it's quite hard to do too much so you know you, you can really build it up to a level that you that you like just adds that little pop of color on your cheeks but nothing too much I do love quite neutral makeup but I feel like this really brings some life and like youthfulness to your face and because we're not doing bronzer I'm gonna bring it up like to the back of my sort of face back of my face <laughs> to the sides of my face as well I just have to fix this come on stay put my lips are feeling a little bit dry so I'm just gonna go in with a bit of the care now sleeping lip care berry lip night mask which as you can see looks very similar to the Laneige lip sleeping pack was that what it's called you know the Laneige one it's a cruelty free much more affordable dupe for the Laneige and I really like it I use it often actually more in the daytime rather than an overnight mask. But moving on to brows, I'm gonna use a brow pencil today from the brand Caradium. This is in the shade number four, which is like a gray brown kind of color, which I love that many Korean and Japanese like brow pencil or brow product ranges come in this sort of gray brown shade. It's not as common in Western brands and I, I love it because it really does suit my natural brow and my sort of nothingless almost like gray brown natural hair color. The brow pencil itself is one of those kind of flat angled brow pencils that gives you a very soft diffused kind of brow as opposed to the really skinny ones that give like very defined kind of little hair strokes. This is more about just sort of filling in the shape softly. It almost looks like you've used like a shadow to fill in your brows. But I quite like using brow pencils in the summer because they are quite water resistant being so waxy. So if you're gonna go like swimming or a hike <laughs> and it's a hot day and you're gonna perspire a lot, then a brow pencil can be a great option. So that's the difference there between filled in and not filled in. So you can see like the color is just amazing. For my eyes, one of my favorite kind of looks in the summer is to wear something that's kind of like a wet look, shimmery 
eyeshadow. And I have this really cute one from the brand Miko. It's their Dazzling Light Eyeshadow Mousse. This is in the shade 2. If you look at the packaging, you might think, oh, that looks awfully familiar to something that Anna has shown before in her channel. These are very similar packaging to like the Hourglass little single shadows that I love. And a quite a similar product, perhaps a touch more sheer, or at least this shade is. I have another shade which is like a deep kind of bronze that's quite pigmented. But this particular shade number two is one of those gorgeous kind of like champagne, almost like a rose gold champagne shade that looks very sheer across the lid and it's just a wee wash of shimmer. It almost gives that beautiful kind of wet look to the eyelids that I love. So I'm just going to use my finger um, and they're very much like a, they've got this kind of squishy moussey texture as well. Like you can really like press it around, almost like a putty. So pretty. So I just press it on. You can see it there. It's all shiny. And I just sort of press that onto the lid all over and like even up into the crease. It's kind of just to diffuse it so there isn't like a harsh line. But it's just, oh, it's just so pretty. Very subtle. But that's kind of like how I like my makeup in summer. To be quite subtle and lightweight. Let's see if I can zoom you guys in to have a look. The lighting is a little bit bright from the sun. But hopefully you can kind of see just a really like subtle sheen on my eyes. It's just very pretty. Um, before I put on mascara, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of a darker eyeshadow. Just like on the lash line. Just a tiny bit. Just a add a little something. I'm using this one shot eye palette from Chica Y Chico and this is this is in the shade number seven Mellow Sand. It's such a cute little palette. It's great for travel because it's so small and it's got like three kind of more neutral neutral sort of shades down the bottom and then a couple of lovely like more mauvey cool tones at the top which I think is just a nice little combination if you're into neutrals. I'm just going to take a little bit of this darkest color here and a tiny little pencil brush. And I'm just going to like, like literally put the smallest amount just on the outer corner. I don't want it to kind of look like I'm wearing eyeshadow there. It's just to kind of shape my eye slightly and just make the lashes look a little thicker at the root. You can see the difference between the two. This just looks slightly more, slightly more defined. And for mascara, I have a brown mascara to show you. A cruelty free Japanese mascara from the brand Esehan. And this is their Heroine Make Long and Curl Mascara in the super waterproof formula. And this is in the shade number two. It's a brown. I was kind of hoping this could become my like everyday brown mascara, especially because it is cruelty free. It's obviously something I've been kind of hunting for. But to be honest, it's probably a little too waterproof for me for every day. I just like the ease of being able to take my makeup off really easily in the shower at night. However, for like a summer, like I need to go swimming in this. This is so waterproof that it really, it really stands up to its name. It's one of those slightly more wet formulas that has the little fibers in it. So I feel like it's one that you really want to like scrape off all this sort of excess product and build it up in a few light layers. Otherwise it can get a bit clumpy. So, and then just go in and paint your lashes. Oh, I was meant to show you <laughs> what they look like with one coat. This is two coats here and this is a single coat there. I might zoom you guys back in so you can see. There you go. So that's two coats of it and that's one coat. So you can definitely see one coat is very subtle. Just gives like a little bit of colour really. And then when you apply that second coat you can really see it starting to build on itself a little bit more. So I'm just going to put like a little sort of clear gloss on my lips. Honestly in summer I go really low maintenance with lip colours. I use like clear glosses, balms, maybe a little lip liner if I wanted to kind of emphasise my lips a bit more. But I'm just going to go with a clear gloss. This is one from Naming. It's the same brand as the blush we used. And this is their Upper Glow Multi Balm. And the reason I love the idea of this is it's actually not just for lips. You can use it on the eyelids to give that kind of like wet, glossy lid look if you wanted. You can use it on your face as a highlighter and it's so gorgeous. I mean, I really don't need it after using the Purito, but if I was wearing something that was a lot more matte, this literally gives you like a wet highlight like it looks like you've got dew on your skin it is very like glass skin gorgeousness um i don't know if you can kind of see it in the pot super dewy and it's got a very kind of like jelly sort of texture to it i'm just going to put a little bit of that on my lips i'm just going to bring it slightly up and over the lip line because i kind of love when lip gloss is a little bit like outside the lip line i don't know i think that looks really fresh a little bit on the cupid's bow and it's not really sticky at all even though it's kind of like gummy in the packaging it feels like a lip balm on the lips it's really 
smooth. So this is the finished look of my little everyday, dewy, glowy summer skin look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway as well. Remember I have all the details in the description. Thank you once again, YesStyle, for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video. And until my next one, I hope you guys have a wonderful few days and we'll talk soon. Bye.